Here in Central Oregon, believe it or not, there's an entire community that's off the grid. This is the Three Rivers Recreational Area, a one-of-a-kind gated community made up of about 300 off-grid homes, everything from million-dollar mansions to trailers. A solar-run fire hall. Heck, there's even a solar-powered yurt, a traditional Mongolian house. This is bigger than my apartment in D.C. Oh, boy. And it's, I would, I would say, maybe a little nicer. <laughs> So Dolores, do you ever just look around here and just go, oh my gosh, my husband and I started this whole thing. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, I do. Sometimes I'm proud and sometimes I think, oh, what a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Dolores Stills and her late husband, Doug, pioneered this community. They purchased the nearly 4,000 acres of land in the late 1960s, made it into a campground with individual lots for sale. Back then, being off the grid wasn't a choice. There was no power here. Um, we had uh, propane lights um, that put out about as much light as a cigarette lighter. This is the original cabin built by Lorne's father. Lorne and his mom now live on the grid in a nearby town. They haven't laid eyes on this cabin for 20 years until now. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. This is different. It was here Lorne's father tinkered with 12-volt lights and experimented with wind power. By the late 1970s, this off-grid community was flourishing. But for real estate agent Elaine Budden, it wasn't exactly love at first sight. I mean, I'm hardly city slick, but it was like, holy smoke. <laughs> you know? Eventually, Elaine came around. The peace and quiet, the stars at night, the wildlife, it got to the point where we thought, you know, we could make this work. She and her husband, David, moved into the area 17 years ago. They settled into a prefab home they'd expanded, connected it to water, and wired it to a modest 800-watt solar system. There's nothing we do not have here. Wireless internet, washer, dryer, refrigeration. We have everything. But if you can't live without your soy no-foam latte, then this lifestyle might not be your cup of tea. You are 25 miles from the nearest Starbucks or supermarket, and you can't order in pizza. For Elaine and her fellow off-gridders in Canada, Here you go, babe. it's a small price to pay for a life unplugged. In other words, the good life. In Ontario, Canada, Patty Kim, Energy Now. Bill and Lorraine Kemp say their getting off the grid had its upfront costs about $40,000 worth. For other homeowners, the cost really depends on how much electricity you think you need to live comfortably. If you'd like to say goodbye to your utility company and start generating your own power, go to our website, energynow.com, where you can learn more about living off the grid. You can also read our blogs, watch all our episodes, and catch online extras. And you can reach out to us on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. Search for us at Energy Now News. That's it for this week's Energy Now. I'm Thalia Shuris. See you next week. Okay.